This is part 34 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to include a date picker in a Blazor app. Let's understand this with an example. Including a date picker is very straightforward. All we need to do is use the built-in input date component and bind it to date property on your model object. In this example, date of birth on the employee object is of type date. So at runtime, this input date component is rendered as an input element of type date. This is our edit employee component and in the interest of time, I've already included the required HTML. So here we have a label for date of birth and the input date component is bound to date of birth property on the employee object. So if we take a look at the browser, let's click edit on one of these employees. We have a new field now, date of birth. Let's view the page source. Notice our input date component is rendered as the standard HTML input element of type date. And when we click within this date of birth field, we have the date picker. And when we select a new date, we see that newly selected date. At the moment, as far as the display format is concerned, notice we have the date displayed first, then month, and then finally year. But what if we want to change this display format? Let's say for example, we want the month first, then date, and then year. A lot of articles over the internet suggest using bind value format attribute or bind format attribute, and that's not correct. If you remember, this built-in input date component is rendered as input type equals date. This is a built-in HTML input type. And as per the HTML spec, the internal date format must always be this, year-month-date. And we can see this in the rendered HTML. Notice the value attribute here. We have the year first, dash month, and then finally the date. So the bottom line is specifying a format for the date field isn't recommended because Blazor has built-in support to format dates. At this point, you might be wondering, well, then how can I control the date display format? For example, instead of displaying date first and then month, we want month first and then date. Well, this is controlled by the browser's language settings. And to change the language settings within Google Chrome, click on these three dots on the top right hand corner and then select settings. On the left, expand this advanced drop down and then select languages. At the moment, my language is English United Kingdom. Let's change this to English United States. And within this language, we have month first and then date. To change it to English United States, click on these three dots again, and then check this checkbox, display Google Chrome in this language. For these changes to take effect, we need to restart Google Chrome. And here's the command for that. In the address bar, type Chrome, and then restart. There we go, Google Chrome restarted. And let's reload our web page. Notice the date display format is still the same. We still have the date first and then month. It didn't change to month first and then date. If this happens to you, change the language settings directly on your operating system. I have Windows 10 operating system and to change language settings on a Windows 10 machine in the run window, type control and click OK. We have the control panel launched. Click this icon, date and time and then this button, change date and time, and then change calendar settings. Here, you can change the format from English United Kingdom to English United States. If you want, you can just change the short date or long date format if you want to, and then click OK on all these windows. At this point, let's restart Google Chrome. We use the same command, Chrome restart. There we go, Chrome restarted. And notice the date display format has changed. We now have first month and then the date. Now, one important point to keep in mind is this is an HTML5 date input. This means the look and feel of the date picker depends on the browser that you're using. For example, on Google Chrome, the calendar looks like this, whereas on Firefox, it looks like this. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.